All right, so here's what we got going on. On this morning's team meeting, I pitched a deal to Hassan and Evan that if they box, I will pay the winner $200. If there's a knockout, I will pay them $500. And it appears that they're gonna take the deal. What about today's matchup? Got some butterflies, but I think I can get them. You got them, you ready? Hassan, how you feeling? He has no fucking chance. <laughs> uh, I'm about to go get contacts because I want to see his face whenever I fucking knock him out. <laughs> you you pumped for today? Dude, I'm fucking stoked. This is the most exciting thing we've had happen all week. Totally. Where did this idea rise? 5'11", baby. Gotta buy a new knife. Bought a brand new $400 knife like a couple weeks ago, right before Evolve, lost it three days later. Picking up my outdoorsman game again. Julian and I are planning um, like a 70 to 100 mile survival hike. Sick. Yeah, doing nice. How's it going? Yeah. yeah, it's fucking cool. This, like, beautiful. Got exactly what we needed. Free. <laughs> hey guys, I got a free dick pic for you. We shave your bush. How to shave your bush? How to get a stinky packy dick. Packy dick. I would take it to a grand for if the loser shaved their head. Yeah. Bald. Bald. Yeah. <laughs> this fight's gonna be fucking epic. Whoever wins, I'm gonna step in and knock him out. Pay myself 500. And it's almost fight time, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You pumped? Fucking oh, I'm stoked too. This is gonna be great. You ready to roll? Oh. Ooh. Hassan Khan. He stands six feet, one inches tall. Weighs in at a buck noodle. Reach 72 inches. This man is ready to fuck and fighting. His opponent, Evan Martin, stands. He got it wrong. Martin stands five feet seven inches tall. He's vegan <laughs> and 130 pounds soaking wet. Fight! Good uppercut by oh. oh, oh! Stay square. <laughs> like some good prop bets, dude. It was pretty legal to me. Yeah, we should do this every week. Look, awesome different, different awesome PDs on my shit list. If they, <laughs> if they show up here, I'm in the habit of telling them to go fuck their heads. <laughs> 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 what? You sent me $300. <laughs> <laughs> So when I first decided that I was gonna get in the online space, it was like, I was leaving the business that I was in, I was about to get married, Hannah was pregnant with Cruz, and I was on my honeymoon, or actually it was a little bit before my honeymoon. I had like banked a little cash, had some time off, was gonna get married, and like figure out what the fuck I wanted to do with myself. At the time I thought I knew a lot about business when I didn't really know anything. Um, but I, I did know a lot about, I did know a lot about personal development, I had changed a ton, I had found money, and like, I got it and I knew I liked working with men inside of AA. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put out content around like productivity and performance. Like productivity used to be my jam. So dude, anyways, we're trying to solve the fucking email problem, right? And it was previously done through GMAS. 
And so we're fucking trying to make GMAS work. It wouldn't work the way that it used to. We got so mad and it's like on the fucking GMAS website, it's like customer experience is number one to us. We're like, they're like, we fucking love our customers. There's not a single support email in sight. Nowhere, dude. No phone number, no nothing. They're like, we're a customer service company who has zero fucking customer service. And I'm like, how the fuck could you even say that that's your focus? And so dude, we're like, we find the CEO, AJ, the founder, and, and we're hunting his ass down. We're fucking blowing up every channel we can, Twitter, LinkedIn, fucking anywhere that says GMAS, I'm hitting him. I'm like, AJ, where are you? I'm fucking finding you, dog. And so we end up finding the website for his wedding. And his, pers his personal cell was on there, dude. And we're like, got you. And so we started blasting him. He got on the phone with us and he was just like, what you're trying to do is ridiculous. Like it's, he's like, this doesn't fucking, you can't do this. We knew the office early to get a workout with Julian and one of our mentors, Nick Long. Super excited about it. Haven't seen him since he came out and helped us with Evolve last year. Hey! There he is. Hey! Oh, man. Yeah. Nick Long. All right, so I want to introduce you guys to one of our mentors, Nick Long, founder and CEO of the Multiple Club. This guy right here has created a ton of change in our business and in our personal lives. This is a guy who charges a lot of money for coaching. He works with eight figure companies, but since the day I met him, he has really given himself to me without any asking, without asking for anything in return. And I mean, dude, Waiting for my son to be born, I was up late talking to Nick because I was nervous. Every single business juncture that I have reached, Nick has been there to lift me up and support me. Cannot tell you how grateful Wake Up Wealthy is for this man. I love this dude. You guys need to go follow him. Check him out. Twitter's where it's at, bro. I fucking hate Twitter. I love your Twitter, too. I love my Twitter. I hate your Twitter. I know you do. No. What is going on, Wake Up Wealthy Vlog? It is the weekend. Haven't vlogged a ton this weekend, been super disconnected, and spending some quality time with the family. Hung out with Hannah, hung out with Cruz, got some fitness in. Uh, it's Sunday morning right now. Just went to the grocery store, got some diapers, got some coffee, and now we're hanging out. About to head to the gym and catch a workout with Feinberg. About to start his programming starting tomorrow. Um, shit's probably gonna be pretty brutal for the next 90 days. A lot of it is focused around hit work and, and getting a lot of sprints in, which is not my MO. You know, I've done distance running, I do a lot of lifting, but sprinting gets to me, dude. And so, yeah, I think it's gonna be a hard 90 days, but should come out on the other end really feeling like an athlete. What's going on, Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood? It's Monday morning. A little tired this morning, moving a little slow, but I'm fucking pumped for the week. We got a lot of stuff moving forward. A lot of momentum has been built. On top of that, just came off a hot week of trading, and so I'm excited to have another one. This week's gonna be a good fucking week. It's that you fucking know how to produce, right? And so it's like, whether you decide to optimize client base or expand operation, I'm completely confident that you, ha you can do you can do either one just fine, right? But it's like, is that going to actually solve for what is Matt looking for in his life right now? And so like, I really think you should book a call with Julian or Brandon or Mike and dive deep on some of this stuff of, hey, what are we trying to solve for? Because if Matt's trying to solve for business growth and more money, Matt's gonna solve for it fucking quickly. We know that you can do that, dog. Like, we know that completely. But it's like, what, like, what are you looking for at this point in your life? And that's what we need to figure out. Brando, do you want to tell us what's going on? You, this girl has called me, I think, 50 times. Have we hit 50? Have we hit 50? Let's see if I can do it really fast. Dude, should we get her as an SDR? Totally. 48, that's 49. We're almost there. Yeah, we were. Last name's per yeah. 49. 49. Oh. 
the crowd goes wild! Kirsten, what do you have to say? Insane. I don't know. You have We're at 95. We're at have you watched the vlog? We're at 95. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I have to say, look, like, this is fucked up. You called me 147 times or whatever, and like, you should be embarrassed. She's driving over to your house. I told you! <laughs> so Bro, what? here's the deal. I'm just kidding, dude. I did say that, but we talked the next day, and it right. was like, look. <laughs> Is that grape? It's watermelon. <laughs> Dude, there, there's also been another development. Another development! Brandon told her that they were official. No. Kirsten, oh so, <laughs> she's so good. I did not. She's so not. disappointed. I did not. See, I knew there was a layer to it. Say. What are you doing? 